Hi, I'm Dina Kaplan. I'm one of the founders of Blip.TV, and we are like a television network that is online. We host all original episodic shows like Goodnight Burbank, Break a Leg, Zay Frank, or Rocket Boom. And we will host the shows, we'll also distribute the shows throughout the web, and help to monetize them too. Our vision is to let show creators focus 100% of their energy on creating great shows, and we'll help to do everything else for them. So Dana, can you tell us what Blip TV really does? Yeah, basically we're the video sharing site that does shows, or another way to describe Blip.TV is that we're like a TV network that's online. Now, you've determined what exactly the market is. Who would that be? So it's a good question. And when we started Blip.TV, we actually didn't know if it was going to be more techie people mm -hmm. who went from traditional text blogging and then to audio blogging or what you might call podcasting and then moved on to video blogging. Mm -hmm. Or if it would be people really from traditional jobs in TV or film who decided they wanted to do things on their own terms, do it on their own and bring it to the web. And in fact, it's ended up being both. So who are some of your competitors? I would say that, I mean, we watch Rever for sure. They have a similar model to us in the sense that they also share revenues with content creators, which is just great. So we definitely share a vision with them, and I like those folks a lot. And we had watched Bright Cove a lot, because Bright Cove had made a lot of noise about coming into our market. In the end, it's decided to really back away from being a consumer destination site. But love the look of their player, and I have a lot of respect for what they're doing. Can you tell us a little bit about your business model and how it affects the financial performance of Blip TV. Yeah, basically we are supported by advertisers and I'm incredibly motivated right now to make money for the top shows on Blip.TV. So what we do is we have two ways of dealing with advertising on Blip. First, we have the run of site network. So anyone who uploads a show to Blip.TV can opt into the run of site network on Blip and they can even choose what type of advertising we can run on their videos. They can say, I will have an overlay, I won't have a post roll, you know, they can basically put little check marks by the types of advertising that they're willing to accept. And then we'll run advertising on their shows and split all the revenues with them 50-50. Now for the run of site network, we've partnered with about seven video ad networks. So these are independent companies, one of which is called Bright Roll, another is Scan Scout, and a few others. And they all go out and are selling this uh, possibility to advertise on Blip and a bunch of other, other platforms to ad networks. And we basically will just push more in inventory to whichever of our advertising partner is giving, giving us a higher CPM that week. So that's the run of site network. Separate and independent from that, we pick off our top shows on Blip, about the 35 top shows, and go out and do direct sponsorship deals for those shows. How do you determine and evaluate success of Blip TV? We want to take many of our top shows full time. So what does that mean? That means that we want to do enough sponsorship deals and brand matches for them that the top shows are able to do what they love full time. That's a very clear goal. And we've been incredibly, incredibly happy with how far we've come on sponsorships. You could say we're basically helping to, with a couple other companies, invent a new form of advertising. We also want to bring more and more of our shows to the television set. And what's another gauge of success is just, of course, the traffic. And we actually have come much further in terms of getting to our goals on traffic uh, at this point than we ever expected to be at this time. Thank you, Dina. And here's what we've learned about Blip.TV. Thank you for watching Next New Yorkers. I'm your host, Megan Mitchell. Please join us next week for another episode.